Welcome back to another episode of Famous Reality TV. And I'm coming back today to you all with some deja vu um, from Now That's TV. Now, you all know it went down on last episode. You had Quality Cologne going crazy with Gucci and Diamond. Then you had Kenzie running down on doggone Sydney. Sydney ended up leaving the house. Y'all saw Abby acting a mess, crying and stuff because Sydney left talking about uh, who got something to say while she was packing her stuff. Oh, okay. Which I feel like is a perfect example when the cats be saying, y'all know Abby be talking and saying certain things sometimes, but Abby is pretty much who she is. She was licking bottoms on the last show she was on. She was getting drunk. She was acting a while so you cannot really beat the person out of a person so uh cookie did end up apologizing on the show as well as off the show and i guess she was saying like if anybody try to fight abby she's gonna jump in or whatever at the reunion but i don't know who else is gonna be trying to fight abby because she was the only one trying to fight her on the show but you all let me know down in the comment section um also sydney ended up bringing her alleged assistant i don't know if it's her assistant really or not i do think i've seen him with her before um but she should have left him at home uh because he didn't do a thing like at all but um she was literally you know ready to go and kenzie would not pretty much stop trying to come at sydney but sydney was talking crap and, and they kept on calling the man hard body and um even the dude was calling the dude was calling uh kenzie hard body and all of that stuff so you know he wasn't feeling that that was disrespectful to him so that was a doggone hot mess that he just could not get over and looks like sydney had no choice but to leave the house but at the same time she did have a wild and out show coming up so sydney did end up leaving the house and um because she had a wild and out show coming up that friday now did she end up uh how many more days did they have after that wild and out show i don't know if she had to leave completely because she could have came back, but of course she wasn't coming back after all that crap that went down at the club. It was a mess. Now, here we got Judy. Uh, pretty much, y'all know on the episode, old girl came up to her cookie talking about uh, because Cologne told her to slap her. She was like, oh, you want to slap me? She got to put her hair up. Y'all know how cookie is. And so it appeared that um, Judy kind of bagged up and she wasn't really you know, trying to go there with the girl because she like, I just got my hair done. Like, what's the deal? I don't even know what's going on. Like, you know that this woman ain't got no problem with you. So why is you trying to fight this woman? So Judy was like, you know, she wasn't going to go forward. But I guess old girl Cookie was going around talking like she wanted to fight Judy, as which we saw ourselves on the show. So, I mean, pretty much Judy chose not to fight her. So you all let me know in the comment section what you would have done in that situation um also we had holly and cologne getting into it because he kept on fighting with gucci and she telling him to just leave it alone and which i find funny because shortly after getting her mama to pray for abby and doing a photo shoot baby she along with kenzie and cologne then beat the brakes off of sydney and her assistant now i honestly felt so bad for sydney but like i said earlier she pretty much brought it upon herself and she stated herself in the very beginning probably the first episode i believe it was that you know she had some competition in the house now i don't know if she underestimated her opponents or what but i just wish she would have called somebody else to do it that's all but if i had to give it to someone i would give it to diamond uh as far as who's really running the show uh of course kenzie and cologne are great entertainment but uh they are literally playing all of Diamond's music, the whole show. She didn't drop the album, Motivation, dropping videos, um, and doing all kind of doggone crap. And what's the whole reason Cologne and Gucci was fighting? Then she turned around um, when she fought Judy, and that was uh, made the show pop off in the very beginning when she was slappy drunk. Then she made Gucci, you know, chill out with his horse ways and all of that crap to some degree. And now she got Cookie, y'all know. Cookie kind of liked it, Gucci, at first. She done made um, Cookie, her doggone piece, basically, as well on the doggone show. So this is a doggone mess. But um, Cookie, like I said, she's pretty much calling Judy out, Michelle out, and she can also... Uh, said she don't mind if Big Lex was to come through. Call her, call whoever you want to. They just want somebody that's going to do something. So they basically throwing shade saying that, you know, Judy ain't do nothing. So if, you know, Big Lex going to do something, then you need to be bringing her. 
Child, let me know y'all opinion down in the comment section. Make sure you click that like button, comment, and subscribe to Famous Reality TV, and click that notification bell because you already know this is about to get real. Oh, she tatted it up. He is. What's the tea? Y'all, my girl, give a fuck. What's up? Your real life friends with her, even though she was on Gucci bag. It is. The fuck? Bitch, fuck these niggas. <laughs> Think about y'all bitches. Y'all always want to fall out about niggas. These niggas who don't ain't a nigga who ain't going to fall out about these you. These niggas don't never fall out with they homeboys about no bitches. Never. They Gapping they home, hey, bro, you for that bitch, I for that bitch too, hey. <laughs> so why would I try to be beefy with a bitch about a nigga? No, bitch, I'm a nigga. I, I act like a nigga, bitch. Oh, you for that nigga, bitch, I for that nigga too, hey. You got to check, bitch, I got to check, hey, period. Bitch, that nigga's a trick. And even if he's not a trick, even if he is my nigga, bitch, I don't give a fuck, bitch. That nigga is a nigga. Oh, it, show. it gets better, trust me. What y'all gonna do if Judy bring Lex to the reunion? Bitch, what the fuck is that supposed to do? Bitch, who gives a fuck? Bitch, what the fuck <laughs> supposed to do? What are we gonna be shaking in our boots? Ooh, 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 oh, shit. Lex, that's that's like big. a big Billy badass. Oh, oh my god. god. Bitch, who the hell dare you? What type of question is that, bitch? What the f First of all, you got the two most non-giving a fuck ass bitches on the fucking whole show. Hey, y'all think that we supposed to give a fuck if they bring if she bring, bring her. I don't give a fuck, bitch. Bring, bring her. Undertaker. Bitch, bring the rock, bitch. I don't give a fuck, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, bring somebody that's going to do some, bitch. What's up? Okay, okay, let's give us some up. No more. I it. just started fucking with you. I fuck with you, though. Like, I just ain't like how they showed you on the, on on the, the TV. Boat. But I know. Yeah, I know how shit be going, though. It's it be like, cancel. It's cancel culture, so when shit be labeled as bully, bullying, it's always going to be that, you feel me? And then motherfuckers just like to cancel people, which is another form of bullying type shit. When people don't really realize you know, I respect, I respect you telling me how you feel. Like, I don't get mad at that. Because, you know, like I said, you watch it and you see but, Okay. Summer, have you not seen the lives where she apologized? Have you not seen when she apologized on the show? I've seen everything. I be in everything. I be talking to y'all like during everything. <laughs> okay. Just like yeah, I, I fuck with Lauren though. No. Like it just that how they show her on there. I just ain't my, fuck with. Her. On the live, like she, you be cool. I be fucking with. She's you. really from the hood. Like she a real aggressive hood bitch. Like. You feel me? And I'm from the hood, too. Like, I'm from the east side. You feel me? And I get that from her. It's just, like, the right. shit that they were showing. And just, so I ain't you hood? When you, just, you know, like, when you, from, when you from a certain place, it's like, you just know how to be on go. Even when you time. Like, mm -hmm. Fuck all that. Fuck all that. Why Cologne keep, he keep ignoring my motherfucking comments, and I keep saying <laughs> I want to fight. He keep liking my comments. And Wait, who? Like, Cologne, body spray. My bad. Okay. Right. Yeah, so that again. He really soft to me, Wait, bro. Wait, the person like, saying, like douche water. Huh? huh? Douche water. <laughs> Fucking douche water. Wait, so you asked him to fight? Yeah, like I still got the the comments Shut and shit. Up. Like I be coming on his page and shit. Like nigga, I want to fight. Like I want to fight you. You didn't he, say that. He keep liking my comments. I swear to God, I got the screenshots and everything. Like he be liking my comments. I'm gonna give you a pass. Time. You gonna be his ass if I get you a pass to reunion? I promise you, I will be his ass. Like I put this, I put this on my. I don't know if look. I could be his ass. I ain't gonna lie. He like he could beat me up, but bitch, I, I want a nigga to come beat his motherfucking ass. Even though my nigga I gonna be his look. ass. But my brother said it on me. I know I can beat his ass, bro. That shit, that shit weird. Cologne. I weird feel like he need to fight somebody else that's also gay, so he don't feel like he can easily, he can easily say, say like, "Oh, my nigga is like a nigga." How about so that? that's why it. he won. You get know what I'm saying? But if you fight another gay boy and lose, then it's like it's nothing you can really say. But we can definitely set saying, that up. I'm, I'm not understanding how y'all saying Cologne got hands, bro. First of all, he didn't he didn't beat Gucci ass whether the water was on the floor or not. He didn't hit him not one time. All he, he did was like, say, he dropped him. Then he tried to say he the first time him. he tried to say that was Diamond Ring that did that to his forehead. Then the nigga Somebody can't even said the hands was slick, that Listen. it was the opposite or something with the ring. Listen, then when Cologne said he won and was explaining the fight, this nigga in the whole confession, he couldn't even look at the camera when he was saying he was fighting. Like any other time, he all in the camera, do do do. He like this the whole time. 
yeah, and I beat his ass, and it's just that, and I did my, like, you didn't do shit. Nah, bro, he is not kill people at this time. Talking about, it, talking about it was slippery. Talking about it was slippery is not fair. I don't do the fucking shit on the floor, and then he pulled Gucci. So what is y'all talking about? That don't make sense. How was it, how wasn't it not fair? He was already pouring shit on the floor. Yeah, Detroit ain't losing. Shit, you feel me? Born and raised. Fuck is you talking about? And that's period, bitch. Hey, why, why <laughs> did she come out the room, though, when she had that fat ass knot? <laughs> well, I'm not going to lie either, right? When you was in the pool, and they was like, get her, get her, get her, she drowning. I said, see, that's where her little drunk tail self getting put for playing too much. But they was really turning around and getting you up. It, I'm like, so y'all don't hear them saying she drowning? Like, was, she's going like, underneath. Like, go get her. Like, go <laughs> go get her. Go get her. That, that was so I don't hear her saying she going under the water. Then they picking you up. They picking Abby up. I'm like, Abby drunk ass. She always in the damn pool jacuzzi drunk. No, Andy. So, like, that I was see y'all always pay attention to my friend, though. Look. Well, I, Laura was like, save her. I had to notice, like, and I can't swim, and I can't save her, so I was with my raspy voice. <laughs> but yeah if y'all noticed the first day the way i was acting i didn't act like that the next four days five days you feel me like you could tell the difference i did okay that bitch was fucked up and her too little bit we freeze you need to get sad too do the slap them bitches mm -mm, get somebody else to do it Just wanna be a mini me. All these next just wanna be a mini me. All these next just wanna be a mini me. Friend me, friend me, enemy. All these next just wanna be a mini me. All these next just wanna be a mini me. Friend me, friend me, enemy. All these next just wanna be a mini